Hi, this is Drew, KD7QCU. I'm going to give you a little tip of how to temporarily install one of these, uh, the real quick way, um, you know, if you're in a pinch at a contest or something like that and need to solder one of uh, one of these connectors onto some Elmar 400 real quick, uh, this is a good way to do it. Um, so we, uh, we have our um, UHF connector, so go ahead and take the barrel and slip it down the uh, coax. And I went ahead and stripped out uh, the center conductor, oh, probably about two inches or so. I, this is an old piece of coax, so I wanted to have make sure I had enough um, fresh copper on here. So now what we're going to do is, uh, if you look into here, uh, basically we're going to strip back about a quarter of an inch back on the uh, on the um, on the jacket right here. So we're just going to score this. And I'm uh, just using an X-Acto knife. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to take our X-Acto knife and just go right here, just like that. Now what that does is it enables us to take this and just pull it around. You don't even have to cut all the way into the shield um, when doing it this way. Um, except when you're making this cut just go all the way down and then you can just peel this right off so now what we do is we're going to take this and we're going to peel this back uh, kind of like we're doing a compression connector or one of the old uh, BNC connectors for uh, for TV and whatnot. Now one thing that we do need to do is we need to pull the shield off so um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my X-Acto knife and we are going to uh, score this. Okay, just go all the way around. And then we want to find the flap where it starts. Oops. Which is right here. We just want to go ahead and peel this up. Oh, there we go. We'll get this on the video camera. There we go. So now we have this, uh, the flap kind of peeled up just a little bit. And now what we can do is we can take our uh, fingers and just wrap this, unwrap this away from the insulation. So now just make sure that we have no kind of stray, uh, stray wires coming straight forward. Now what we can do is we can take our uh, UHF connector and go ahead and push the uh, push the center through. Um, this is an old connector that I took off of some old coax so this one's going to be a little bit fun to get on. There we go. So, um, now what we do is we want to make sure that all of the braid is folded back and we're going to go ahead and now screw this over the braid and then just have to solder this alone. So um, by doing this you're just using, uh, I guess, a little bit of a compression fit to uh, make the ground connection to the, uh, to the braid. Now I understand that some of you will probably comment that without having that soldered it's not going to make a good connection and blah blah blah, but you know, Crimp connections do the same type of thing, where it's just using mechanical strength to make the connection to the uh, to the shield, and those work just fine. So um, we're going to screw this down, and uh, if we look in here, uh, you'll notice that the insulation uh, has uh, about two uh, quarter of an inch uh, from the braid um, to the actual end of this connector where. Uh, the pin goes. So um, now we can see that there's the white insulation and you just want to look around and make sure that there's no uh, kind of stray wires in there. Uh, this would also be a good time to take a uh, multimeter and just make sure that there's no continuity between these two. Um, and now what we're just going to do is we're going to clip this off and then solder it using a uh, butane torch. So we're going to just snip this. Hey, Dad. Hi, Harper. Daddy is making some coax. Oh. Why not making a video, Dad? Well, because i got to show people how to do this. Now, um, I'm not going to solder this right now with the butane torch since my daughter is in the uh, shed with me. Um, but basically, we would take our torch and uh, just focus right here on the tip and then just add solder. Uh, take a file, file it down, and uh, you have yourself a quick and easy uh, UHF connector on some LMR 400. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post below. 73s.